Hi, my name is Atif Kamal. This is another workshop on logic and reasoning. This one is on alternatives for uni universal quantifiers within propositions. The reason why I am going over this is because it will give you more variety in terms of how to express a logically formulated proposition. And if you have more variety, then that means uh, when you express logically formulated propositions, they will come out um, as less monotonous since you're expressing them in more than one way. Now, the basic way that I gave you to express a positive universal proposition is like this. All trespassers will be prosecuted. Okay, there are at least three ways which you could change the universal quantifier, uh, which is all, uh, for this proposition. Each trespasser will be prosecuted, any trespassers will be, pro will, be, will be prosecuted, or every trespasser will be prosecuted. When you change the quantifier all to either each, any, or every, each of those three propositions have the same meaning as all trespassers will be prosecuted. Now the basic form that I gave you for a negative universal proposition is like this. No trespassers will be prosecuted. Now, there are at least two ways you could express that same proposition. You could express it like this. None of the trespassers will be prosecuted, or not one trespasser will be prosecuted. Now, just to be clear, there is some potential ambiguity in that second way of expressing um, no trespassers will be prosecuted because let's say there are two trespassers that will be prosecuted then it could be true that not one trespasser will, will be prosecuted because two will but that's not what is meant by that proposition by not one trespasser will be prosecuted that means that um, there is no trespasser that will be prosecuted that's what it's supposed to mean but um, it could be interpreted as meaning that more than one trespasser will be, pro will be prosecuted. So I just wanted to make that ambiguity clear for that second way of um, <coughs> expressing uh, no trespassers will be prosecuted. Okay, now here are two uh, universal propositions. The one at the top has a positive quality. The one at the bottom has a negative quality. Um, based on the examples that I gave you, I want you to think of and express or write down three different ways to rewrite the um, positive universal proposition at the top, and then at least two ways to express the negative universal proposition at the bottom. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, I will move on to the answers, which I will do right now. Okay, so all states must bring their perpetrators to justice. So to change the quantifier, again, we can use every, any, or each. So we get every state must bring their perpetrators to justice. Any state must bring their perpetrators to justice. And each state must bring their perpetrators to justice. And then for the negative universal proposition, no states must bring their perpetrators to justice. We have none of the states must bring their perpetrators to justice, and not one state must bring their perpetrators to justice. And remember the uh, not one, which serves as the, the negative universal quantifier, can be interpreted ambiguously. It could be interpreted as less than one state or more than one state must bring their perpetrators to justice. So just remember that note. Okay, now if you'd like more practice, you can go to books.google.com. You could type in a keyword, initiate your search. After you do that, click on search tools, which will be below the search bar. Then click on any books. You'll get a drop down arrow. And in that drop down, you have preview available or free Google ebook. Click on one of those then you need to select a book and within that book you're going to do a search press and hold control 
while you're still holding control, press F, and then type in either all or no. Then you're going to search for a, either a positive universal proposition containing the quantifier all, or a negative universal proposition containing the quantifier no. Um, and if that's too difficult, you can modify a proposition that which has all or no. Then after you do that, you're going to try to express a positive universal proposition in uh, three different ways or a negative universal proposition in two different ways. That's how you can get more practice for uh, this particular workshop. Okay. Now for the next video, I will give you alternative ways to express a particular quantifier for a categorical proposition. And that's it. Alright, thank you.